Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects scripting tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you all about comp markers and we're going to be making a simple function and taking a look at it and sharing the code for it of how you can take comp markers from one composition and uh, basically copy and paste them or run through all the values and apply them to another composition instantly. And this will copy over all of the information including comments, duration, labels, etc. So this is going to be more of an explainer video and also giving away some free code of this copy comp markers uh, function which will allow you to take one composition with, with some markers and transfer all those markers to another composition and we're going to be going over all the properties you can access and how to create a comp marker. Before we get started I do want to remind you down below hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel and down in the description you can download the code for the script as well as follow us there on github and you can also follow us down in the description on instagram for other live updates if you're not a member of the discord server you can get help with scripting extensions plugins expressions submit tutorial ideas and much more and if you'd like to help support us on youtube and get cool perks you can uh, become a channel member now if we actually go ahead and go to the scripting guide and type in comp marker it actually gives us a nice example of how to create one it uses a standard uh, marker value object, and these marker values can be applicable to layers as well, because not only do you just have uh, comp markers, you also have the ability to add markers to layers. And sort of the reason we're making this video is because somebody noticed in the Discord server that when you drag a composition with markers into a comp without markers, uh, what it does is it displays those markers on the layer of the comp itself, but he was looking for a way to copy the markers itself of the composition over. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're basically going to be taking a look at these comp markers that are embedded into the, uh, the timeline here, and we're going to look at all the properties we can access of that value. So we're gonna be creating a new marker value, which is again, is, can be applicable to a comp or layer, and it requires a comment, which will be displayed uh, right here. You can see in the settings that is our comment text. In this example, uh, it also sets the duration and URL, but there are many more different types of uh, properties we can access, and we're gonna loop through uh, all of our comp markers and then copy each one of these properties to a new value. And what comp markers really are, are basically just a normal property we can access by saying comp.marker property, and this will give us a full list of all the keys basically that is represented by each comp marker. Basically, each one of these can be thought of as a keyframe of the marker property. Each of these keyframes has many sub properties within it. And uh, if we look inside of the marker object, we can go ahead and see what those are. Um, we need to actually go to find the marker instead of just the comp marker. And it should be mentioned that markers aren't supported by every single version of After Effects. It is a somewhat newer scripting uh, feature, um, but uh, comp markers are the newest ones basically supported and what we can do is look at the regular marker value and see all of the properties we have access to. So just going down the list here we have the chapter, the comments, the cue point name, the duration, event cue point, frame target, URL, label, uh, protected region, and then we have the ability to use these methods, get parameters or set parameters. We're going to do it a little bit differently than those methods, but we do want to use each one of these properties. As far as I know, each one of these is read and write. So we have the ability to read them from one composition and then write them to another. And um, we're basically just going to loop through all of our keys and copy these values over each time. Now, practically what this looks like is uh, I have a function here, which again, you can see in the description, and all it's gonna do is take an input composition. In this case, that's gonna be our composition with markers. And then we need a to composition to apply the markers to. And this is going to be our second composition here, which we'll say is our active item. So when I actually call this function, I'm going to give it app.project.item1, my comp one here, and then the two comp, I'm gonna give my active item, which will, I'll have open and selected in the UI. Then I have a simple definition here for our marker. Each time through our keyframes, we're going to make a new marker. Uh, and in this case, how many keyframes do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. 
So how do we loop through those five markers, which we can essentially think of as keyframes? Well, the way we accessed them before, as I explained, is uh, the comp.marker property, and then simply get the num keys. We don't want to say num properties or length. Uh, we want to say num keys. So this will loop through starting at one and going up to the length of the number of mark keys. And this will go through. Uh, we can even put in a comment to check what I is going to be each time through. And then what we're going to do is just say marker is equal to a new marker. And remember, we need to define our marker with the comment, which is the visible text here. So all we're going to do is grab the from comp marker property key value I, where the current key we're looking at in the loop of all of the keyframes. And we're going to apply the comment from that to our new marker. Then we're going to go through every single property that we can access of a marker, the chapter, the comment, the cue point name, the duration, the event cue point, the frame target, the URL, the label, the protected region. And then what we're going to do is set the value from our current key value dot chapter dot comment dot cue point. And then finally, set the value at the time uh, for that marker. Basically, what we're doing is we're taking a variable called marker each time through for each keyframe, we're going to say, hey, this is a marker value with this comment. And it also has these properties as well. And all these properties for the chapter, the comment, the duration, all of that is coming directly from our current loop. We're looking at a keyframe each time. First time through, we're looking at this keyframe, get all of its properties. Second time through, look at this keyframe, get all of its properties. And what we're going to do is set those properties to our temporary marker value. And then in the end, we're going to go to our two comp, which currently has well, basically zero comp markers, and we're going to access its comp markers. And then we're going to set the value at a time, which is how we set a value for a keyframe. And the time we're going to give it is the key time of our current marker index. And then the value it's going to be set to is marker, which contains all of this information from our from comp marker. And the key time again is just a basically the opposite of key value. Instead of returning the, the value of our keyframe, it's going to return the time it occurs at based on its index. And of course, all this is enclosed inside of an app.begin and undo group uh, so that we can easily undo it. So when I run this, make sure I have my two comp open. I'm going to hit F5 and run this. You can see it runs through five times for each one of our marker keyframes we have in our from comp. And then it's going to paste those essentially or recreate them very quickly as it appears inside of our two comp. But that's going to do for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's all about comp markers for After Effects scripting. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can use this code in the GitHub link and follow us there as well. And you can also follow us down in the description on Instagram for other updates. If you're not a member of our Discord server, come on over and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks, you can do so by becoming a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.